If I told you the sun could knock out our power grids, satellites, and internet, you'd think it's science fiction. But it's happened before, and it can happen again. In 1859, the sun unleashed a blast of energy so massive that it changed Earth's sky. A giant cloud of charged particles shot out and traveled 150 million kilometers in less than a day. When it hit Earth, it created the largest geomagnetic storm in recorded history. Northern lights turned dark red and were visible all the way down to the tropics. They were so bright that people thought distant cities were burning. And here's the scary part. Our sun runs on an 11-year activity cycle. Small and quiet in the beginning. Then halfway through, that's when the big storms start. Right now, we're nearly at peak activity. Solar flares are getting stronger, faster, and more frequent. The sun's magnetic poles are literally preparing to flip. This isn't just history. In 1989, back-to-back -back solar explosions knocked out Quebec's power grid, causing a nine-hour blackout. And that storm was still weaker than the 1859 event. The good news? Today, we're finally better prepared. Special satellites sitting far out in orbit constantly watch the sun. They measure solar winds, magnetic fields, and flare activity, warning us when space weather turns dangerous. If you believe the world needs more optimistic science and tech stories, make sure you subscribe, because understanding the sun might be one of the most important things we ever do.